God. I was about to just start filming the garden when all of a sudden Mama Boar and her four little ones showed up. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm happy about this or not because um, I'm not a big fan of wild boars. They kind of scare me, even though I know I shouldn't be scared of them, but... Oh, are they living in our forest? I guess. We have had the craziest, coldest days ever. Um, last night it got down to minus 24 degrees Celsius, uh, which is the coldest temperature we've had here, or I've experienced here. And um, yeah, I'm freezing my butt off and watching wild boars apparently. <laughs> welcome to my life and welcome to uh, the vlog. Happy you're here. For those of you that are new here, I'm going to tell you a bit about my toilet situation. Um, I basically only have an outdoor toilet. It's compostable. We have composters around the corner. So that's basically how I go to the toilet every day, even at minus 20. However, life has changed a little bit. I'm going to show you in a second, but let's check out the outdoor toilet first. It's basically completely frozen. It's so, so bad. So in what way has my life changed? Well, I got a life-changing addition into the house. So we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show you a room that you've never seen before. It's actually our room where we store our cleaning supplies. Um, however, Tommy built something incredible and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you, I guess. Some light. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this room is actually tiny, so I'm gonna have to squat down in order to tell you all about this. So this is a compost toilet, um, which separates the things and it has a ventilation system so that it doesn't get stinky. You guys, it's perfect. I mean, it's absolutely life-changing to not having to uh, go to the toilet at minus 20 outside or minus 24. Um, I'm not freezing my butt off anymore. I'm super comfortable and yeah, I'm so happy. I don't know why we didn't do that sooner, but um, now it's here and it's pretty damn good. I'm going to link the DIY toilet uh, in the description. I think it's actually for van lifers, but I really love it. I couldn't recommend it enough. It's not sponsored, of course, but um, yeah, it's so nice. And actually this room, I mean, it is tiny, but it has a little, little bit of space in the back. So I'm thinking of maybe setting up a little um, corner where I could, uh, so all of my seedlings and so on so that I don't occupy the rest of the house. That is kind of the plan right now. It's a bit weird doing this in the toilet, but um, I don't know, it gets really cozy and warm up here because it's so tiny and we have this little heater. So yeah, those are my plants.
Christmas alone was definitely a new experience for me. Um, yeah, I definitely felt sorry for myself a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. I did make some really good food for myself and I made lots and lots of friendship bracelets. Um, <laughs> let me know if you're interested in seeing what I did, but um, yeah, I mean, they're silly little plasticky things, but they make me so happy to make them. Anyway, even though I didn't celebrate Christmas, I definitely received some very thoughtful gifts for Christmas and I thought I would show them to you because those are all so thoughtful, so fitting. <laughs> um, these are a broccoli and a chili. Maybe I should come here and show them to you. This is what they look like. Aren't they cute? <laughs> um, so these were a surprise, love them. I do have a cabbage as well from last year, so I think this will be a good addition. This one is probably my highlight. I got a tofu press. Um, this is for, of course, pressing tofu that is already existing and getting all of the water out, but you can also make tofu yourself in this. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Kind of, I don't understand how it works, but we'll get to that at some point in the next weeks. And I'm gonna show you how I make this. Hopefully it works out. Bunch of homemade goods, um, two gems. This one is blackberry, red currant, blueberry, and a bit of um, elderberry. So this sounds exciting. We have another jam. Cherry chocolate, vegan, amazing. And then these, I'm so excited about these. This is fermented uh, honey garlic, salted yuzu. This is from a yuzu tree that I gifted my friend. And now she made salted yuzu from her harvest and I cannot wait to make something with this. And then also some salted lemon. So you can see there's a lemon theme going on here because I also received another ferment from my favorite um, fermenting business in Berlin, Mimi Ferments. This is Lemon Shio Koji. I'm excited. Over New Year's uh, we had a guest come over and we like to play games on New Year's Eve and the days following. And uh, I bought a new game that I love playing. I think this is so genius and um, it's very expensive. I think I paid 50 euros for it. However, it is so nice to play and so beautifully done. It's called Parks. And it's basically you're hiking around the national parks of the US and I mean even this packaging is so cute. Let me show you. Does it work? Look how cute. <laughs> For my garden I got some seeds. I'm very excited. These are basically all flower seed except for some zucchini sorts that I got and I think the most excited I am about um, Spörgel. That's a German word, I haven't heard of it. It's basically a mix between spinach and asparagus. I have no idea. We'll see how this goes, but I will get into what I'm sowing this year in a different video. Um, let me know what you would like to know about my garden plantings this year, because I do have some plants, I'm telling you that. <laughs> then I have this teriyaki sauce with coriander and um, lemongrass. And some more salt from Portugal for my fermentations. And then last but not least, uh, some seed bombs to sow in the yard. This is for butterflies and bees, which is so important. Our insects are so important. We need to take care of our environment and our insects. <laughs> so this is, this is handy. So that's it for me. I got a lot of beautiful things. I'm very grateful to have so many amazing people in my life that gift me 
such thoughtful stuff that is so fitting to me. I think I explained this already in a different vlog, but this is what the uh, Swedes call rimfrost. It's when the fog rolls in when it's super cold and the trees get covered in this frosty, beautiful, crystally snow, frost, ice. I don't know, it's so beautiful. I ordered myself some new groceries from the Asian supermarket. Um, it's just an online one here in Sweden. It's not sponsored. I just really love this store and they have a lot of great things. So yeah, I'm gonna open it and see what's inside. And I'm gonna show you some highlights. Oh wow. So first of all, I ordered this. I found it so intriguing. I think it's a Mexican food. Slaps, lollipops in mango flavor. I have no idea how these work, but. Green tea noodles. And the store finally had the ro rose bulldog. Um, I ate those in Korea and I loved it. I really loved it. Sesame. Uh, roasted sesame dressing because I'm obsessed with salads right now um, in Japanese style and oh my god this is my highlight I think I got yuzu flavored sesame seeds buckwheat noodles to make some Korean dishes we have a kimchi jjigae sauce just because sometimes I don't want to cook so these are also buckwheat uh, noodles, but vermicelli, and these are supposed to go into Korean cold noodles. And because I couldn't find um, Korean cold noodles in veggie or ve vegan in Korea, I thought I'm gonna make them myself. I'm gonna make a broth, and now I have the fitting noodles. A mini tahin. That is exciting. Some more yuzu juice because I can't get enough. Oh, this was exciting. This is um, that Vietnamese dipping sauce. I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. But um, I think it's like the, the sauce that is usually with chili, fish sauce and lime juice, but in vegan form, so a vegetarian form. So I'm gonna try that. And chamoy because chamoy is life. <laughs> Instant noodles, got them in sesame flavor, spicy hot flavor, hot and sour. So happy about this. 